All right, 845 on this Sunday. Well, Menorah in the D kicking off this weekend with a big lighting ceremony tonight. You got that right. The free event will also feature a lot of fun activities for the whole family to enjoy. Fox 2's Veronica Meadows joins us live with more. Veronica. Yeah, good morning. Well, as you can see, the menorah is already set up and ready to go for menorah in the D starts later this evening here at Cadillac Square. But this menorah is also an incredible work of art. We are here with Eric Nordine, one of the creative minds behind it. For folks who may not be most familiar with the menorah, tell us a little bit about it and the history. Uh, the menorah, uh, well, the initial uh, uh, idea behind the menorah came from from a meeting that we had with Idi Shemta from the shul. It was to create something special for Detroit to bring in the health the Hanukkah celebration and uh, eight foot was what they were kind of thinking and you know after much brainstorming we we wanted to create something that was monumental um, you know uh, almost one of the largest in the country uh, that is freestanding and something that would really you know uh, be a wonderful you know icon for for Detroit to bring in the Hanukkah celebration <clears throat> it's a lot taller than eight feet it's a lot taller than eight feet it weighs about 8,000 pounds a bit challenging to set up each year but something that really you know it's become a, a Anonymous part of Campus Martius and, you know, just a, 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 a beautiful, you know, additional piece of public art um, for all Detroiters in the community to celebrate. It's what, 20, close to 25 feet tall? It's 25 feet tall, yes, and it's about a, I think it's about a 12-foot wingspan total on it. So, and it, it is, it is lit each year uh, with a torch, um, and uh, it just, it, it it's, it's an amazing celebration for people to come down and check out or see in the live feed. And to give us kind of more of an up-close look, you also, uh, uh, more information about Menorah in the D is on your screen as we speak. All of the fun starts at five here at Cadillac Square. Also all free. Uh, and in addition to having the 25 foot menorah on display behind us, you also uh, brought your own miniature version of the menorah to kind of give us an up close look. And this one's really heavy too. Yeah, well, we create miniatures of all of our sculptures. Um, it's a way for us to do studies and understand better how to kind of make them large scale. Uh, this particular one is a series of 100 we've created that are limited edition um, that we're going to be um, selling with some of the proceeds going towards the event. So if anybody has interest in that, our website is Detroit Design Center. And uh, my brother Israel and I have been working in Detroit now for 20 years on, on various public art pieces. We have a new piece coming on to Belle Isle. It's 25 foot in diameter. It'll be exciting this spring. And uh, if you need more information, just go to our website. As an artist, what does it mean to you to have your work featured at Menorah in the D every single year? Uh, there, there's no greater honor to be able to share something like this with the community and have something that stands as a symbol um, of, of such of greatness of Detroit and our community. Um, there is no better feeling. So. Symbols of greatness here in downtown Detroit at Cadillac Square. Again, all of the fun starts at 5 this evening for Menorah in the D. It is free, and of course, we will have more information for you on fox2detroit.com. For now, from downtown Detroit, Veronica Meadows will send it back to you. Just off Jefferson.